Starting our new mini-series on factorization, it is important to first know what factorization really means. Factorization is a process where, whereby we take a mathematical expression and rewrite it as a product of two factors. All right, so let's get down to the first one. But before we start, click that bell, subscribe and like. Let's get into it. And so today we are going to be starting probably one of my personal favorite parts of mathematics and it's called factorization and it really goes hand in hand with all the algebra we've been doing up until now all the simplification 3x plus 15 how do i rewrite this as something multiplied by something how do i factorize this expression usually it was easy when i had just 15 on its own and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to see and uh, uh, what would happen if I say, what are the factors of 3x? Well, we said it's going to be 3 and x. And what are the factors of 15? What well, was 1 and 15, but also 3 and 5? And so now I have to look, when I factorize, I'm always going to look first. So our first step, the first type of factorization is called taking out the highest common factor right and so when i try and factorize i'm going to look to take out the highest common factor and so i need to identify what is the highest common factor and so i have a look at these factors that i've written down here what is the common factors and what are the highest common factors so i need to have a look what are the common factors well really there is only one common factor and that is three so I'm going to take that out. And what I mean with taking out is essentially I'm going to divide it out of both terms. But I do that by saying 3. I write that first and then I make a bracket open. I open a bracket and then, would say, then I would say, well, if I take out that 3, if I would divide away that 3 from this first term, what would be left behind? Well, 3x. I take away the 3 or I divide away the 3 that leaves me with just the x. And then for the second term, it is a positive. And what am I taking out? I'm taking out a 3. See, this is my 3. That's the common factor that I've taken out. And so if I take out, if I divide away a 3, what remains is that 5. 15 divided by 3 is the remaining factor of that 15. And so I now have this expression, but I've rewritten it as something multiplied by something and you can see that now we're previously we had two terms now we only have big picture we only have one term and so i have factorized this successfully because i have rewritten this expression as something multiplied by something all right and so this is called taking out the highest common factor or the hcf Okay, I'm, I'm going to be keeping an eye out for taking out the highest common factor. Before we end, just remember that these questions might become more challenging, but the method stays exactly the same. So when you see a more challenging question, give it a try, but remember, follow the steps. All right, enjoy. 